Okay, here we are with Finder. I have opened up a folder um, to demonstrate to you the usabilities of the info window and the super info window. Um, so first I'll start off with the info window. And if you open it, it gives you a standard info by pressing Command I. And it gives you the size here as rounded corners, as red, yellow, and green dots, which I'll get to later on that. You can put in spotlight comments. Um, your general information, which has color labels, date modified, date created, where it is, size, and kind. It's this folder. You can also choose choose to lock it if you don't want to delete it. More info shows you where when it was last opened at. Name and extension. You set the name and the extensions. So you have, like put dot folder or dot zip. Um, it will change what the file looks like. But will not necessarily change what kind of file it is. Preview shows you a preview of what the icon is. It's a large preview. If you have a movie open or say a, a picture, it'll show you a preview of the picture slash movie. Also, you can do that with audio. Ownership and permissions. You pick what you want. Read, write, read, write, read only, write only, um, and no access. By pressing this lock, you can choose who has what permissions. Like I can set Chaz Isaac to read and write, or just read only. Group, you said what group has it, and what they can do with it, whether they can read only, write only, etc. And others, what anybody else can do with it. You can choose to apply it to enclosed items, such as if you have multiple folders inside, they don't go all the way down. Either lock them all, or set ownership and permissions for all of them. Uh, pretty nice stuff. However, if you open a um, super info window by pressing Command, Option, and I, um, it'll show you where you currently are. It says mock folder 2.13 gigabytes. You can set spotlight comments for mock folder. It's just like the standard info window. It's just that it has square corners and has green and uh, red dots. Green and red dots. But if you switch it, it'll switch to when you click on. So don't you wish you knew what was in here? Is 800 megabytes. Secret is 20 kilobytes. Don't look is calculating. Important stuff is 7.7 .7 megabytes, and so on and so forth. Um, you can set it just like a standard for the window, just that it switches. However, if you select multiple items, it'll add the two items together and say. Say that's 807.7 .7 megabytes. Two items. You can set color label, lock them, tells you where they are, their size, and what kind they are, assuming they're similar. You can also you, you can set ownership and permissions. And name and extension is there for some reason. I have no idea why. If you select a bunch of items and then hit command option I to open up a super info window which has square corners, it should give you the sum of all four items. There you go, 2.13 gigabytes. Um, you can set color label, lock them, where they are, kind, size, etc. Name and extension, once again, I don't know why it's there. Ownership and permissions, you would choose to read and write, and who has permissions to read and write. Once again, press the lock to lock the permissions or unlock the permissions. Uh, the difference, the main difference between opening up a super info window and a standard info window with multiple items selected, if you hit Command I and you open up a standard info window, it'll open up four different windows, which is something you really don't want. You want one info window. For all four items, I mean, you could go into dashboard, take out your calculator, and say, "Okay, 20 kilobytes plus 7.7 7 megabytes plus 1.34 meg gigabytes plus 800 megabytes." Oh, that equals 2.13 gig gigabytes. Or you could just hit Command Option I, open it up, and it should be saying 2.13 gigabytes. 2.13 gigabytes. So there you have it, that's a super info window and check it out.